word. Welcome to the B-Side Word. We are a group of friends from around the world, and we are sharing our thoughts and opinions on interesting articles. My name is AJ, and I'm joined by Emma. Hello. Gavin. Hello. And CJ. Hello. <laughs> I feel like we should become a yodeling group. <laughs> yodeling. <laughs> Hello. I love the energy, guys. What a great way to start the weekend. I'm going to throw it over to Emma to get us kick started. Okay. Oh, Got to bring up one of our favorites. Fave. I mean, I been brought up countless times on uh, this I, podcast i reckon it'll be my um playlist for a long time <laughs> yeah it'll, it'll be in your spank bank <laughs> good old uh elon musky he's now stepping out well he's not stepping out at all he's got his stepping he's in? got his foot <laughs> in many different things yes <laughs> spacex <laughs> like is some basic wait until you hear it's this it's going well he's got his foot um, in space age <laughs> He's, you know, Tesla, everything, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, he... Wait, wait, let me guess. Is he into cookies? No. Is he into... Marijuana? No, he's... Marijuana? In... No. He's in marijuana, 100%. He's into magic mushies, 100%. He's like a pasta that you to the left-hand side? <laughs> yeah. How does this sound? What's going on right now? Elon Musk has released a track. On SoundCloud, SoundCloud. <laughs> he's released an yeah, EDM, as well. an EDM track <laughs> called "Don't Doubt Your Don't Doubt Your Vibe." The voice is Elon's, which has been what's the word? It's being powered by the sun. <laughs> it's been it's been um, sub, Remastered sub or something? that's yeah. So it doesn't sound like him. It's been altered. That's the auto tuned. Auto tuned. Was T Pain involved? Let's listen to it for a bit. Let's listen to it. Distorted. CJ is going off. That's all, so, I That's all I've got left in energy, man. I'm bugging. So, yeah. <laughs> wait, wait. I just want to, like, Alexander's doing a lot of facial, but nothing's being said. Can you just <laughs> let it out verbally what you're thinking? Because it's hard to see on a podcast. Okay, hey. Okay. <laughs> I, <laughs> I have so many thoughts. Um, <laughs> one of the thoughts that ran through my head was, what if he takes off as, like, a music artist? Oh, my God. What if that actually, <laughs> what if that actually becomes a thing? You know what I want to see? I want to see Shaq and him make a festival. Oh, my God. Because Shaq's into it now. Have you seen him? Shaq's being like, Shaq wants to be, is a he's massive a, DJ. Shaq's a DJ. Shaq's a DJ. Oh That's a God. big he's DJ recording device. <laughs> hey? like, oh, wow. They have to have a high stage. Did you see him at the mosh pit? Okay, okay, okay. Do you know what I was thinking? He killed it. Do you, do, do you know what I was thinking? Yeah. This this track should be Put on one of the spaceships mm. and sit <laughs> the space, <laughs> and no one should have to listen to it ever again. So, look, I don't like <laughs> the, the track I'll just because before. I don't really like EDM. Yeah. Um. But what the hell? Good on him. Is he this just... a is this a moment where you just have to respect, show yeah. respect? Yeah. Good on him because he literally <laughs> is saying, "I don't care what anyone thinks. I'm doing whatever I want." He's living his best life, isn't he? Yeah. Uh, have we got to that point where? Billionaires just do whatever they want now. Yes. 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 Literally. Look at Donald like Trump. One of them's he grabs chicks from the <laughs> and he became president. A few of <laughs> he, one of them's making EDM. Also, well, him in general. Like, I don't know if you know what he's done, what they're doing this year as well, like making their own internet or making their own, like, um, not internet, but making their own, like, uh, service. Like, they're sending loads of satellites into space at the moment. I didn't know so that. They can have I didn't their know own that coverage. Either. He's got the battery and, and the solar power. Yeah. He's just in the tr- and, and Tesla's just become the first car company to reach 100 billion. And like, he, wow. he's just doing a lot of different things. Yeah. No, do you know I should do the track? Send in the space. So if the aliens ever get it, they'll hear it and they won't attack us. Possibly. Mm. They'll be like, damn. 
they're dangerous. If this is what they like, <laughs> we ain't f***ing with them. <laughs> I love I love the fact that CJ's aliens are like are from the burb, uh, from the. Damn. <laughs> Damn, son. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> I love where the aliens are from. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're, they're not like, talking mm. intellectually like, Damn. Hey We're not a very smart race <laughs> <laughs> But he said this was actually harder than Like being in Like making the track was harder than he actually thought But of yeah course. There's a photo of him here Like Wait, in Did the boot, he in make the... it as well? Yeah he made yes. it He made it There's a photo of no, no, uh, like, In the article I, I, know we're, I know we're just going Yeah he made it His voice is on it But like he's a billionaire Did he actually make it Or did he oh. have someone make it And he just put his voice on it No I think he was involved He probably had help, Like like yeah, people was there Working with you. him <laughs> but he um, he was in the studio actually recording can the track. We, can we talk about the process of how he got to this, right? So he's fiddling on his computer trying to figure out the next Tesla design and he's like, oh, the batteries are going good. And then all of a sudden, I don't even know how he got into the music app, right? Or did he just like yeah. press something how, on the how key? How does he know what SoundCloud is? So the key, I reckon it was an error, right? <laughs> and you know when the error comes again, and he's like, what's this stuff? And then all of a sudden he does a beat. And he's like, oh, oh what the, what's this? Because he said, but that's what I said. Like he said that the, the process of putting the song together was harder than he what he initially thought. Wait, wait, I'm not finished with my thought. And then Bro. he goes, and he's sitting in the backspace. He goes, backspace, 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 backspace. This sounds awesome. This sounds, <laughs> this sounds awesome. I want to make my own music track. All right, continue with the story. Is SoundCloud, so it said SoundCloud, but then it said to be released on Emoji Records. I don't know. But anyway, what's emoji? Is know. that a, yeah. I don't know. But the emoji lyrics, records? the lyrics aren't that you know <laughs> crash hot. It's um, oh, emoji records. <laughs> yeah, but it's Hold emo on. space G. I don't know, <laughs> but, like but when, yeah, you're right. When CJ said it, emo- I think it's emoji <laughs> records, not that was, emoji. That was, what else? That's all I heard the whole time. <laughs> I was saying emoji like the emotional G. <laughs> Like oh, emotional gangster. All, all, <laughs> emotional gangster records. That's funny how all of us got record. a different different perspective out of that. We got a whole different perspective out of that. <laughs> Emo. G. Man, imagine he was smart enough to like put it out there and he's like, this will this will F with people's minds. It's like that blue or blue or gold dress. Emo G. Oh, oh <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Mm-hmm. The lyrics are, don't doubt your vibe because it's true. Don't doubt your vibe because it's you. That's all it says all the way through. I couldn't understand the bloody what he was saying. <laughs> yeah. But did you like it? No. Because you started dancing. I didn't dancing. like it. I was dancing. Yeah. Like so I he think there's a lot dancing. of people that will. <laughs> when he first... Yeah, I wonder, how much, I wonder how much of your dislike of it is because you know Elon Musk made it. No, no, like, I like Elon. Like, I love Elon. Yeah. I, I, I don't no, like I don't it. Mean, no, I mean, you can like Elon, but like when you hear Elon's got a song on SoundCloud, <laughs> at least for me personally, <laughs> my mind didn't go, oh, this is going to be good. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. This is going to be better than the Kanye <laughs> track. <laughs> I, the only reason I, I, I love the fact that he's made it, I just don't like it. I don't like that type of music. Me neither. I don't I, like that I music either. Yeah. But how if he dropped a banger? Like, um, if he dropped in, a banger? In, um... Like a sausage. <laughs> <laughs> it's a mash. Uh, to, 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 be honest, to be honest with you, I'm not into sausages. <laughs> if, it was not- but if you are, that's your decision. But how if I'm not going like, to judge. How if he drops like um, a hip hop bang, a banger? Or, uh, if it was good, I'd like it. I'd, well, I'd, 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 like what? I'm going to take you out with my Tesla. <laughs> you would never hear Tesla, me coming. Tesla, 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 <laughs> Tesla, Tesla, Tesla. There's, there's this kid on... Um, He's on TikTok, but his videos go on to it. Like he has a Twitter account and posts them on there. Yeah. And he's like, his thing is um, making, reproducing other people's music style in one minute. Like the video is, um, you know, the baby or Drake or whoever, like Drake, mm. um, how to make a Drake song in one minute. Oh, I've and then seen he goes, them. Yeah, 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 yeah. Seeing this guy. Yeah. And he's like, well, Drake likes this type of beat. So let's add that. Bam. Drake. These are the types of vocals he sings, and he does it. And then he's like, "These are the ad libs," and does that. And then like, oh, you know, he likes a bit of pianos. So we'll put that in there, and then he plays a song. But every time he does it, this guy nails the style of the artist. No like, way! Bang, bang, bang. 
it's it's all his it's his own like he's completely made it up but it's just like if you listen to it you're like yeah i could believe that was a track by drake no um, way nice. well, what's what, his name this kid all um, i'm like he, he looks he looks like maybe early 20s like he looks like a young guy all it makes me think is wow how how like how little talent is in the music industry that this kid can just replicate everyone that easily. That's pretty cool. I mean, Aiden, <laughs> our it, eldest, yeah. has made a f- quite a few um, garage band tracks, and I think they're good. Like, okay, okay, I legitimately okay. am Hold like, on. wow. You're his mother. You're meant to think it's good. Yeah. But yeah. it's actually <laughs> listenable. Okay, okay. I don't know. It is. I mean, they're all, I don't know. I don't know. I'm it not buying it. I'm not buying it if it's off I'd the show. It, was he signed by Emo G, G. Records? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. But yeah, I think I think Elon could break into the industry if, with, with the current level of ability. Elon right? can buy the industry. I, that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking he can buy air airtime. Yeah, because that's all it's about, isn't it? Just airtime. Yeah. I reckon. So much, I um, reckon people will like that song anyway. I reckon it's not very good. I don't like it personally. I mean, it's his first track. We're very judgmental on a guy that's like his his main thing. Maybe is to... he should concert if he wasn't doing this track. Maybe there's a spaceship with my name on it. <laughs> yeah, to, to be fair, Siege, I, I think of all the people on planet Earth, he's probably the last person we can go. If he wasn't concentrating on, because he's doing a lot of things. He's like, doing a lot. Maybe he's, he's solving a lot of problems. <laughs> maybe he should just solve the problems and stop the music. All right. <laughs> All right, so and maybe global warming be fixed by now. Elon, <laughs> global warming. Elon, it's all on your shoulders. What are you doing? <laughs> You're not a recording artist. Do you want him to come out tomorrow and go, guys? Uh, this track was a hit, but I'm um, uh, announcing my retirement from uh, the music industry. Yes. <laughs> okay, I love me some three D art. <laughs> I am no artist, by the way. You know I, what? I actually can't draw. Do you, re- do you remember um, the books that had 3D artwork on it? Yes. How did? What was your technique of trying to get the 3D art? What? How would you well, like these ones? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Wait, wait, you got... yes. Start right. close in and then go work you know, your way you know, out. You know, you're a, we're a podcast, right? So when you say do these, these ones, ones. <laughs> okay. By putting the book really close to your eyes, so you're almost cross-eyed, and then moving slowly back, you can sometimes pick up the. <laughs> sometimes pick up the the. Please thingy. go to our Instagram page so you can see what uh, how <laughs> Alexander <laughs> looks. <laughs> so this town in, but it's particularly good when you see like pavement drawings of like three D art and just like craziness. Yeah. Illusions, right? Yeah. Um, this town in Iceland called mm. Isavjorlur. Mm. Isavjorlur. Oh, say it again. He just made it up. Isafjorlur. Oh, he knows it. So, uh, backstory. I've been there. Uh, yeah, that's he. He used to do a basketball academy. There. AJ Lex Alexander Zans used to live in Iceland for two years. So, can you pronounce that one Was more it time? icy? Isafjorlur. That's, that's pretty impressive. That is in Iceland. I thought he's making it up. Is a smallish tight <laughs> town, is it, Alexander? Yeah, it's small town. Small fishing town. It stinks of fish. Of fish. Of fi- it looks so bad. Oh like, you man. Can sm- you, when you go into the town, like you, it's sort of like downhill. Um, so when you're driving down, like you can't see it, but you can smell it. <laughs> Oh, oh, wow. I was going to say, you're not helping their tourism very much. Oh, no. <laughs> Isa Fjorden, stinky. <laughs> <laughs> not bad, not bad. Pretty good. If you mm-hmm. want to come to the stinky all town. Right, all right, all right. Now you've turned into creepy. <laughs> it's Isa Fjorden. We get you this Isa salmon. <laughs> Isa um, You smell it before you see it. <laughs> tell us about this. Tell us about this uh, town. Well, deaths have been on the rise um, what the? for pedestrians. <laughs> In um, Iceland, I guess, um, with an increase of 41% since 2008. So they were trying to figure out some way, some some new way to get vehicles to stop. So instead of just painting a normal zebra crossing, they've painted a um, 3D zebra crossing inspired by somewhere in New Delhi in India that had done it. And this zebra crossing is the most craziest, best lie. thing ever. I'm not going to lie. That would freak me. The fu- that would freak me out. 
So it literally looks as though oh, the zebra well. crossing is like floating in the air. Oh, you don't want to hit that at pace. <laughs> that's, that's, that's intense. I want, I, I want to see it from the other direction. Don't so show I've seen it from like on top. <laughs> no, uh, there's a video and... Um, the other direction, where your mind goes. <laughs> on the video, um, you can see it sort of better. But how people actually come up with this, well, not come up with like how do they paint? Like, it's crazy to me. There's one picture of this kid standing on it. It looks like he's literally just standing on a block floating in the air. It is a fury. It is a fury. <laughs> do, you know do you know what's funny about your... your to me or interesting to me about this that of all the all of the 3d art in the world this is probably the least impressive 3d art to be able to accomplish but this like amazes like i, I don't know. know like to me like you could do this i don't I think no i idea. could i think i think it's impressive because um it's used in everyday life like like most 3d art where would you use it's it? Purely artistic. It's on artistic, the side to look but at. this is like artistic. People but this will slow it. people down. You're like you're watching it. You're driving, and all of a sudden you go, "Hang on a sec. Is am, this, am I, I going to hit this? Am I going to impale myself in this? <laughs> is this? Uh, this is what's happening here. You, you <laughs> okay, Alexander, you had an article, didn't you? Yeah, super shoe. So, have you, have you ever heard of the Vaporfly, Nike, Nike Vaporfly? No. No, I had not no. until this. So, all right, you remember Kipchoge broke the two-hour marathon? We spoke about yes. that. Yes. Yeah. No. Yeah. yeah. About being <laughs> literally broke the two-hour marathon. The guy that he... But it wasn't recorded as a proper one, hey? Yeah, because he had all these... Yeah. Um, help. Uh, help. AIDS. AIDS, yeah. yeah. Well, one of the if AIDS, AIDS shouldn't it be... wasn't really discussed at that time. It's the shoes. Yeah. Which is the, vape, the Nike Vaporfly. Now, this shoe apparently is a super shoe. Apparently, since this shoe's come out, lots of people have been breaking records. Um, and it's because of the way, like, in the sole of the shoe, there's, uh, there's like, a, a carbon fiber plate almost that helps take absorption away from runners and helps them sort of spring a little bit more right. and run with more ease but the uh, basically world world organizations of running i don't i don't actually know what they're called whatever um <laughs> world athletics <laughs> they're determining whether or not to make this shoe illegal in running like whether you're allowed to wear this shoe or not because it's an unfair advantage and i don't oh, know i just thought this was interesting because how can having a shoe be an unfair advantage? Like, surely just buy the shoes if they're that good? Like, yeah. I don't know. Not, not just that. Don't just, swim as well as like those big condom things. So they go through yeah, the water. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, if that's allowed, about. why can't you have a shoe? Okay, so they say that the, the current regulations are that um, they have to be more or less available to everyone to purchase. And I don't know whether that means these vapor flies are for, like extraordinarily priced or just not available to everyone. I'm not sure. Um, but also independent and Nike sponsored studies showed that the shoes increase the athlete's energetic efficiency by 4% or more, which is quite a lot, to be honest. Yeah, it's an edge. Um, definitely. Um, oh, yeah. So they say... Um, Current rules say running shoes can't confer any unfair assistance or advantage and have to be reasonably available to everyone, um, but doesn't define those standards more specifically. Update, by the way, according, about 15 hours ago, they the World Athletics have approved the shoes. Ooh, that's interesting. Well, there you go. Yes. Well, yeah. you know what I think they should do? I, I think, you know those spring, spring legs, like... <laughs> Yes. No, well, to say well, people have them, but then like you can buy the shoes. I just let them wear those and just see what happens. You can buy the shoes? Like you can buy like, they're like pogo shoes basically. Oh, wow. And you can like run like really far. That would be like a new sport. Like, Is there motorized like shoes? <laughs> Where it is like you know no, they, they do they actually do play sports on your shoes, them. but they... you have to like get down and be aerodynamic. <laughs> but where, 
where do where do sports go from here? Because I, I was also um, I was watching a video and they're talking about the limitations of human athleticism, and they're saying like, what was it? You saying Bolt broke the record, hundred meter record? I think it was like two thousand nine. They're saying why has it not been broken since? There's, there's going to be limitations on how far we can perform or how well we can perform as humans. So at some point, surely they're just going to have to let all these things slide anyway, just to keep the entertainment value. For athletics. No? Oh. No, I'd never thought about that, to be honest. And also, I can't believe it was 10 years ago that Usain Bolt broke the record. That's a long time ago. That's a long time ago. Yeah, but he went pretty quick. It's going to be hard to break that again. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be, yeah. It's not, like, the... it's not like they build like people like him every day. Mm. No, I know. And he like has he's like like one in a million. pursued soccer and everything since, I guess. Oh, oh, here's a question. What do you, what do you think the sport that is going to like, run into this problem uh most likely be. most like yeah most likely be like because in in um basketball there's always some new athlete that comes in and just you're like wow wow this guy's unreal or, I think or probably football. running or because athletics yeah. in general unless they, unless they put a new style on their run and it's just like oh Oh, <laughs> what do you mean? Just arms out wide or something? Whatever it yeah, is, he, he does it with swagger. <laughs> yeah, Flat, like a bird. He moon, moonwalks a hundred meters. It's super, <laughs> Superman is like, I'm running faster. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, well, yeah. I think running and yeah. running and jumping, like the athletic events. Yeah, even though I love the athletic. See, I still love it. I love the athletic events. I think the athletic events are exciting. No, they're not. Specifically the sprint ones. And are they getting, but like, if you know it's like, it's, we're getting closer to the pinnacle Peak, yeah. Yeah, of, the, of the sport. Like, is it still exciting? It is because they're representing your country and you are always, that competitiveness in people will always be excited for, oh, our country might win. Yeah. Now, so like, see, despite whether that, okay. they're going to break the record or whatever. I don't like the sprinting because so it's trans- trans- Translate that then. <laughs> but we're good at swimming. <laughs> True. Take the 100 metres. Say, let's say it was the Olympics. Oh, it's the Olympics this year. Say it's the Olympics this year in Tokyo. And Which it is. The 100 metre race. <laughs> they're, all, they're all getting there. It's the finals. are all lined up. You know, all the different, eight different countries, a lane each. Everyone's <laughs> tense. The stadium's silent. Gun goes off, bang! Everyone starts running. That's what usually. And then you realise, man, these guys are slow. And like, <laughs> the winner gets like twenty seconds. Oh what? And everyone else is slow. Oh, wait, hold, on, hold on, like, hold on here. If that actually that happens, I'm, I'm about to become a runner <laughs> <laughs> because I'm taking some gold. Because. <laughs> I'm not very aerodynamic, so I'm going, but I'm, I'm fat, right? I'm so when I start going, going with I go. <laughs> <laughs> Momentum. Momentum. I'm hard to stop. You might need a couple of guys with like bags and stuff to, to stop me. <laughs> I got no brakes. <laughs> Have padding at the end of the race, at the like, race. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, Alexander, where are you going with this? Would that be entertaining? Yeah. No. It would be. It wouldn't. Having me run into a stadium. It would be if I saw you running. I don't think so. <laughs> so because there's a chance the that you might not make it. <laughs> <laughs> it's 50 50. Will you make the 100 meters or go down at 20? <laughs> Sp- Sportsbet. Sportsbet will go crazy. <laughs> <laughs> CJ, will he stop? Will he make it? Will he fall over? Will he take out the whole field as he's falling over? <laughs> Yeah, he'd be like, uh, he'd be like, cool runnings. <laughs> <laughs> What's his uh, name? No, because people do go for the underdog. What about the guy in the swimming pool, the African boy? Yeah, do you remember? I mean, the first time I watched it, I was like, oh, this is pretty, this is pretty yeah, it's cool. Pretty, like, yeah, it's pretty cool. But the second time someone did it, I was like, come on, man, the Olympics have a standard. Yeah, when he's being lapped four times, I think the standards off. Yeah, when name? they let him swim on the his own lane and they've had four races afterwards. Come on, bro. <laughs> it's still- like, get out. It's, just, it's Olympics. Oh, well, I liked that guy. <laughs> yeah, everyone liked that guy. The first time. I'm sure he's a nice guy. I said it's cool the first time. We get it. It's the Olympic spirit. I but get it. But when the lifeguard yeah. has to dive in to save him. And the lifeguard. Usually, usually we don't have lifeguards at the Olympics, but for this event we do. <laughs> Aww. 
Yeah. yeah no, I, I I just and like, the other problem was the Chinese I, ladies I, I, were actually I'm bigger gonna, than him. I've given an extreme example <laughs> yeah. of slowing them down. Yeah. But the idea of when they don't perform at an elite level, it's not entertaining. Nah. So what we consider elite will change like no, no. over time it has changed uh, like i don't know how many years ago it was 12 seconds mm. now it's almost 12 seconds we're like mm. why are they there yeah so now alexander it's like that's, that's kind of crazy it to even to think about like, because the right, african bloke i reckon i could beat him in a race in the pool <laughs> Maybe like, they, i got this guy <laughs> maybe they will start implementing like devices and stuff like that tech devices or whatever it might be for athletes uh, i reckon like I reckon the, I reckon the, the synthetic like synthetic a... drugs are just going to kick in. So like, we stop we stop the Olympic records now, mm. right? And then they go. Um, this was before drugs was taken. These were the records. Now we have the drugs. No, oh, everyone, Russia and China no, will win every year. Everyone gets the drugs from now on. Why are we promoting people to take the drugs? We and don't. We don't want to be doing. And that. Russia and China don't take them all. What do you mean? They already take over drugs. But want, that's what I'm saying. Wait, but then wait, everyone wait, wait, everyone's going to take it. Let everyone take it. Wait, are Russia in this year? Yeah, I don't know. Ooh, I no, don't know. I don't think so. They weren't in the last ones. Of course. Or, 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 think, all the, all the athletes were juiced to the head. Half of them had no neck. Mm. Is it in the in the, in yeah, the swimming so. in the swimming? Have they reached? A, um, are they starting to reach the pinnacle in swimming, or is that um, are we going to get quicker and quicker? No, probably get quicker, mate. In swimming, because of the suits that they're wearing and all that. But th- that's what I mean. Like, uh, what's this shoe? Like, why are they making that's the what shoe I'm saying, out the of shoe, the? The shoe is cool, man. You know. Yeah. But I would love to they're see Usain Bolt run without shoe. Oh, that would have been cool. One minute. Oh, morning. take it back to basics. Get rid of the shoes. Yeah, feet. Bare feet. Bare feet. Ooh. Like you know, powerlifting. You can have like um, pads and the um, right and the things to help you lift. Nah. And then there's another source of powerlifting where you can't wear any of it. Raw. raw. Yeah. Make it all so raw. Assisted, bare back. Assisted powerlifting. Yeah. Oh like, wow! I didn't even know that. Like, you can't. But you can, There's no. There's no. Like you can't actually compete like that. Oh. No, but like you can go like running. Everyone gets the same shoe. Swimming, everyone yeah. gets the same look, shoe. Look, I don't know how many marathon runners are going to run with no shoes though. Oh, oh, maybe not. I said for everyone gets no the same shoe. Either. Yeah, maybe not for marathon oh, okay. runners. You get what I mean? Like everyone gets a standard shoe. Like you get the same. Like you know, same, like you know, in the Formula One, you get the same tires. Yeah. Everyone gets the same shoe. Same everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The See, the I feel like there's gonna. I I feel like we're. We're trying to solve a problem where humans just won't be involved anyway. I right, give it give it thirty years. We just there won't be humans in the Olympics because it will be, be the robots in comparison really boring compared to all the robots there. Yeah, like we've already got yeah. robots and backflip and stuff. Like, come on. We've, um, we've had robot wars for yeah, years. Yeah, but I don't find that impressive. Uh, I felt like when I first saw it, I was like, meh, it's cool. But like, there's something about the human. When you see humans do it, it's like there's that element of risk, that element of danger, that element that yes. he's gonna fail. Like, and like, even if a robot fails, it's like, meh, just build it so he can do it. Like, but if a human <coughs> fails, that could be the end of him. There's oh my that, gosh. like, it's fatal. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it's that's why when you see that ultimate rock climbing, when they, it's just, oh, I cannot. You know what I mean? Like, could you imagine? Climbers. Could you imagine uh, seeing an AI robot and he's gonna like just go like do deep diving, right? Mm-hmm. And he goes down. You go, this guy's going down forever. Who gives a shit? Yeah. There's no element. This guy's gonna die and run out of water. Uh, I mean, yeah. air. There's no. There's none of that. But like, uh, imagine a human going down and like you're like, oh, this guy's going deep. Yeah, that's true. I think true. it's the same. I think it, it fall under the same premise of like evolution of vehicles and stuff. Like mm. when you had horse and car. And then you brought in cars. Like there were two completely different animals. So mm. when we have like robot sports, they're not gonna. The sports will be completely different. Um, yeah, the sports will be different. You're and, right. and it'll be and it'll be about like how far can we push the limitations of what these things can do in these different directions. Yeah, no, that's like, true. I'll be I'll be one of those. Me and CJ will be the one of the old timers in our rocking chairs going, you 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 young fellas don't know what sport is really like. This week on Emma's Fact. Emma's Fact! Emma's Fact! It's amazing! Emma's Fact! I love this! Oh, I wish I was Maxi every week. No, you don't. Uh, no. <laughs> I wish you weren't Maxi every week. 
I have a fact. <laughs> Why not? It'd be weird. <laughs> Go. I have a fact. Go. Three balls. <laughs> Walk into a china so shop. What? No. Oh. Three balls. Ligma? One is made from rubber. Yeah. One is made from glass. Mm. One is made from steel, mm. which bounces the highest. What was it? Bo- uh, glass? Rubber, rubber, glass, and steel. I'm going to say glass. Rubber. Alexander? Are these like solid? Yes. I would assume rubber, and I think that's the answer you want me to give. <laughs> I say glass. Incorrect, everybody. What is it? Steel. Steel. Yeah, why? Second yeah, highest I... is glass. Mm-hmm. Lowest is rubber. So basically, when you are bouncing a rubber ball, mm. when it hits the floor, because of the soft material, it gets absorbed. the energy gets absorbed into the floor. In the way that it, yeah. That's right. Glass, although you can try this at home, but they recommend not too high, please. Um, when you bounce it, it absorbs less, bounces higher, still even more so. I mean, it's more factual than that, but I mean, that's yeah. what I can remember. This fact, this fact, I don't believe. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Why? I, don't, I, know, I think I when you throw the stool balls and go thud. <laughs> No, so it's actually it is maxi. actually real, and I, I verified I am it. Fairly, fairly confident. If I had a glass ball and dropped it, it would smash. It has to Not be bounce. a solid, like a marble, and you shouldn't do it from a great height because yes, it can chip. But they recommend trying testing this yourself at home, um, if you want. Lino is probably best, just be so that the glass doesn't smash. Mm-hmm. Um, but basically, I did verify it through some scientific websites. Mm-hmm. Um, the difference in a bouncy ball, that's not actually rubber. That's like a, a sort of composite material. I mm. forgot the word for mm-hmm, it. So that does mm-hmm. bounce. But yes, when a rubber ball hits a surface, it compresses and deforms before returning to its original shape. Quite a lot of energy is lost in this process. Glass is rigid and does not deform much when it strikes a surface. Most of the energy of the impact returns to the glass. Steel is crystalline, especially hardened steel containing carbon. So it deforms slightly but retra- retains a lot of the collision energy. Of course, the bouncy advantage is lost if a glass or steel ball is held okay, with okay, force. Okay, 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 okay. I feel like this is a really, really theoretical yes. fact rather than a real life fact. I, I, liked, I liked the attempt. I liked the attempt and uh, it'll make the cut. But uh, you're going to have to step your game up. It was fair. Another one um, is... One type of shark. No, 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 no. Not, to, not, not this episode. Next episode. <laughs> if Max is not here, you'll okay. have another attempt. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Second grader's story about her missing pencil. Today, I saw Lizzie using it on her mind work. And I was like, Lizzie, that's my pencil. And she was like, well, it was in that box, and I was like, because I needed it sharpened. And then she was like, it's just a pencil. I was like, it's my perfect attendance perfect pencil. And then Reese jumped in and said, yeah, she earned it. You didn't earn it. You were in Canada. And then, well, she didn't say it like that. She was like, you were in Canada. And then I was like, yeah, so give me my, my pencil. And she was like, no. So I waited all the way till ah! after. That's the best bit. Like, yeah, Sorry. So wait, I've got to go back on that bit. Wait. Talking to the microphone. Talking to the microphone. This is the best bit. Yeah, she earned it. You didn't earn it. You were in Canada. And then, well, she didn't say it like that. She was like, you were in Canada. And then I was like, yeah, so give me my, my pencil. And then she was like, no. So I waited all the way after lunch to get my pencil back. I said, can I have my pencil? She was like, after she was like yes and she lost my pencil in her desk and then she said after recess i was like okay after recess i never got my pencil back i told the teacher <laughs> she didn't do anything she never changed the even thing it was just the same thing lizzie had my pencil and i still don't have it it's just a pencil it's a perfect attendant pencil they all do the same thing Maybe you should keep it and we'll sharpen it at home. 
So I, <laughs> first of all, when I saw this, I was thinking, oh, this girl's a bit sassy. Like she's so cute, but she's a bit sassy, right? But then I was reading the comments and my opinion actually changed. What was your first opinion, first of all? Me? me? Yeah. Just, just hearing just it. Just cute. Okay, and yours? God, she could whinge. Okay, and yours, Alexander? Lizzie, give her a pencil back. Okay, so when I read the comments, so my first was more like, kind of like you, but also like you, like she's kind of cute, but she's so nah, sassy. I, I saw the picture, she's cute, but then when she started, five minutes on a pencil. Okay, yeah. but this is where my opinion changed, right? Okay. They were saying the mom just kind of disregarded what was quite passionate for her yeah. about earning an award. Uh, yeah. Um, and the teacher didn't seem to do anything. And they were like all the like all the effort that she's putting into this story, that pencil, that perfect attendance pencil really meant something to yeah, this yeah, poor yeah, child. Yeah, 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 yeah. And you're just like, it's just a pencil. <laughs> And and, and that's disregarding her feelings what's, about what's the about, point in the pencil if no one cares about it? Like why give uh, it to start? I miss that. I miss that totally. I miss that uh, altogether. So did I. And right, I was like, right, oh, right. that actually really does make that sense. Does make like sense. this, like this is an award that she was given for her perfect attendance. Mm. And by the way, hold some, on, wait, wait, isn't the perfect attendance because the mum would obviously take her to school? Yeah. So really? No, no, I think you're missing the point. I think like she's like, it's when you're passionate about something and someone does, just doesn't give a shit. It's like, don't you see how I like how much I like this means to me? Yeah. And then someone just wrote like fobs you off and like, yeah. it's like, meh. Like, and I feel like with my kids, I'd also be like, oh, it's just a pencil. Don't worry about it. But then now I'm like, oh, like, yeah, get that, that damn now. pencil back from Lizzie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, same like you. But this other, yeah, I saw one of the comments and it was like, it was her face and it's just like, I need all the adults in my life right now to understand <laughs> that this pencil is not just a pencil. I mean, I guess, is, the, is she sassy all the time or is she, is this just yeah. a one-off thing, or like a one in a month, once a month where she's like, no, I don't really care about most stuff, but this is very important to me. Don't See, know. Listen you, to me. Can we, we don't can, know the child. The child could be like question. just a handful. So yeah. I, I think this is... This is quite interesting to me that you guys are calling her sassy mm. because I don't see sass. I just see someone who's passionate about something. Mm. I do see that. I do see that. No, I see that too. I see that too. But, but I, then, when I first saw I it, feel like, I was like, like... Sassy, as a word, we only attribute to women. Like we don't attribute... If, if a woman's passionate about something... And this, by the way, I'm taking this way deep. <laughs> something that... This, this has come out a lot, like... The whole Serena Williams thing when she was getting upset yes. with the umpire, and then they made comic strips of her being like aggressive because she was passionate about it. Like yeah. when women are passionate about things, we discredit what they're talking about yes. because of the way that they're passionate. A hundred percent. No, I think I still do that with men. I just instead of calling them sassy, I call them dicks. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, this isn't. I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about like this is in a general trend. No, a hundred percent. No, I call you sassy. Men. 100%. Um, but but there's, cert, there's some little girls girl, which are like, like shy, sweet, blah, blah, blah. But this girl is more like, no, I'll give you a bit of sass. She knows what she wants. When I say sassy, it's not it's not even, it's more like she says it with. Attitude. Um, yeah, but not attitude like. It is attitude. Mm, yeah. mm, mm, mm. <coughs> she was like, saying it like. Mm, mm, mm. Sassy and <laughs> attitude's different. Yeah, is it? Sassy is more like funny, sassy. It's not as aggressive. Sassy is not as aggressive as attitude, I feel like. I reckon she should have just punched Liz in the face. <laughs> well. Attitude well. is more sarcastic than sassy. But. Attitude yeah, has sarcasm. I think so, or, yeah, yeah. Whereas sass is more like. Are you it's, saying it's, sass it's, is it's, more it's passion? It's funny when you see it in yeah, little no, girls. To me, to me, sass and passion are completely synonymous. But we've yeah. just chosen to paint them in different ways. I don't see the difference between sass and passion. If you look at it, what mm. they actually are. Okay. Now she's a kid. But I think, no, I think, like, to me, that girl, first of all, is very good at telling the story. Mm. Like, very we, good. we understood every element of what happened. Mm. She even yeah. had that, that call, that call back of, well, no, she didn't say it like that. It was more like this. Like, mm. um, so I thought that was cool. Like, this, this girl could, could do something with that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I don't, I, for the life of me, can't understand 
why all the people around her like weren't Listen. taking into consider like it's her just feelings depends. again well, it's, we don't know the child it's just depends, pencil, everything. why is it a different color why has it got a name like why all these different yeah. things no you're so right everyone obviously knows what it is yeah mm. but no one cares yeah so no i know it and then it makes you go oh this poor this poor baby girl she just wants a pencil back um and then one woman was like oh my god these perfect like so they're just just disregarding anyone with health issues blah blah blah, blah that can't attend oh, debbie downer but basically what 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 you just what what happened there so there was one comment <laughs> where this lady was just like thank you for oh that give me gosh. context yep Oh my gosh, are we? Re- there's really perfect attendance pencils. That's just um, disregarding people with health issues that can't attend school. But apparently, the perfect attendance pencils. If you have, if you are sick and that you've, you've like you've got a legitimate reason you're sick, they, it doesn't count for that. That doesn't count as part of your perfect attendance. So you're not going to lose out on getting a perfect uh, attendance. But she's not at the age we're going to be taking school. No, and then so the other guy. CJ's not impressed by this perfect intenders, but like it's not, it's not but about she that. Was it's in about Canada. <laughs> it's about it's about something she believes in. Yes, and it's then, like she's fighting for her yeah, justice. Yeah, yeah, I understand that, but this girl could be doing this for everything. She she could which be. is why everyone's disregarding it. Oh, she could be. But, she could um, be like, oh, Cindy grabbed my toy. She hasn't given me back my toy. Blah 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 blah. My toy. You know, it, it could be just her. Yeah, it could be. We don't know. Which is why, yeah, her, I, I which also, is why her mom is, is not is passionate about it. Yeah. Things that she says in there lead me to believe it's not just her. Because even when she's talking about like the pencil, with Lizzie having her pencil or whatever, and then she's like, so I asked her back and she, uh, uh, so then she said, after recess. So I said, okay. And like, you, she there was are quite elements compromising. of the way she tells the story. Yeah. Yeah, where she shows that, you know, I, it, I'm she, blowing up after a series of events yeah that's true because she was like okay she goes she lost it in my desk and then she said she'll give it back to me after recess and i was like okay (laughs) okay what she should have done is if it's not back by recess got lizzie's hands on the desk and slammed the cupboard onto a couple of times but the (laughs) best thing about this whole uh, video (laughs) and when she she goes and whatever his name is reese um stood up for me and he said yeah you can't have that because you went to canada and then she paused and she's like well, he didn't say it like that. It was more like, um, can she have it back? Because you were in Canada. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. <laughs> so Love it. funny. Now, cute oh, kid. Really it's cute. Cute kid. Really cute. Cute. Love it. I, like the I, think, I think in general, we should just respect more what people are passionate about, what people yeah, care about. Yeah, including children. I mean, look, look uh, you saying that, like, if you, if you don't find it relatable, about what they're passionate about, it's hard to give a shit about something. Like wow, yeah, but it's it, it respect, is. respect, and care are different things. Oh, that's, that's true. That's what I mean. Like, mm. like this, I'll tell you, I'll tell you, mm. I'll tell you where this, like, has hit me this week was Kobe. For me, first celebrity death ever that's affected me ever. I've never understood the way people grieve over celebrities. Now, I will never judge anyone for the way they grieve over celebrities because I don't understand the connection they have to that celebrity. That's I like what that. I mean by the respect side of things. Yeah. Like, sometimes you just have to, if someone's passionate about something, if someone cares a lot about something, you don't have to understand or care about that thing, but you have to respect the fact that they do. Yeah. That's, that's pretty, that's a, a general human. When, when, you, when, you mean res- would... when you mean respect, you just don't say bad stuff. Is that what you mean? Respect, like what? What does respect mean to you? Like you just, don't, don't call them out for being like, oh, why are you? Why are you worry about that? Oh, just don't say bad stuff. Mm. Is that what you mean? Like, or just not? Know. You don't have to judge them. It's just like, okay, well, that means something to them. That's it. Like, so, what were you doing before? Like, when someone, like, when a celebrity, when if someone got affected by a celebrity, were you, were you still respectful, or were you just like, oh, I don't get it. I don't get why you're so caught up in that. We, is I, that didn't, I didn't. I wasn't something I verbalized, but yeah. like internally, yeah, I was just like, I don't. What well, I don't get it. Like, you don't get you it. You guys, yeah. you're capping for the internet, but like, you're, you're what? Don't worry, <laughs> you're capping <laughs> for the internet. <laughs> oh, I get it. But now, like, either again, like, it's, it's nothing necessary to do with the way that you approach people or say yeah. verbalize anything. 
but it's the way that you perceive people and the way that you perceive what they are like mm. it, you don't have to understand something and i i guess like when you say like just what respecting is not saying negative it's also as emma said like the way that you perceive them like don't judge them for it and things like that yeah because like, a lot of people that get, don't know kobe they'd be like oh a sports guy died mm. sad meh don't know who he is why is everyone getting so thing mm. but then for like people that love kobe mm. it's just like like it's not even real like what's happening right now do you mm. know what i mean that's sad all right everyone thanks for watching this week's episode of the b-side word Make sure if you enjoyed it to hit that like button. If you want to see more, hit that subscribe and drop us your thoughts in the comments down below. Hit the bell, hit the bell. Hit the bell, hit the bell. Hit the bell. Hit the bell. Hit the bell.